Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. This week I am going to be trying something new that I'm so excited about and very, very nervous about failing miserably. Last week I made the cutest robot, like hands down, cutest robot you've ever seen. His name is Carl. And I was just so happy with how that little sculpture turned out. I decided I wanted to attempt to make a silicone mold and make some resin copies. I haven't done this, but I am a huge fan of the Craftsman's and he does this all the time. And I'm kind of basing this whole project off of one of his videos. So if you haven't checked him out before, I highly recommend you head on over to his YouTube channel after this. I'm gonna be using a couple products that he recommends. I'm gonna start by making a mold of Carl using Smooth On Mold Star 15. We're gonna hope that that mold goes well. And if it does, then we're gonna make some resin copies and I'm gonna end up with multiple robots and be the envy of everyone on my street. I just know it. I'm so excited to give this one a whirl. I'm also very nervous about anything bad happening to the original Carl, but I think he'll be okay. I am gonna remove his little antenna because those are gonna get in the way. And with the copies, I can just put new paper clips on, they're just paper clips. That's my main source of worry there. The other thing is if I had planned to make this a mold and copy making situation from the start, I probably would have not attached his arms and just made them separately and made copies of them that way. His arms aren't very big. So hopefully that won't pose a huge issue, but we won't know until we give it a try. <laughs> Wish me luck and let's go ahead and get started. Smooth on, so smooth. I wish I had a bigger stir stick. Seriously though, my, like, my forearms are very tired. <laughs> Do not think I made enough of this, which is stressful. I think it's gonna be okay if I have to stop and make more because the pot life for this silicone is so long. I'm still like annoyed because it's super close to being enough. Okay, let's try to resolve this. If this isn't enough silicone again, I'm gonna lose my mind. Must make more again. I'm really blowing it. And what if we just put like a rock or two inside? Like you would be casting a rock every time, but it would raise everything else up. You know what I mean? That's a good idea. We could stick something over the side that's attached to the side. Oh yeah, look at that. It's filling it in. What do I do? Do we have like a little tiny clamp or something? So that went well. Um, I'm just blown away that it wasn't enough silicone to begin with. I thought that he would displace a lot more because I used the same containers, right? And I measured a little bit below where his head was and I was like, oh, like his, he'll def totally displace enough. Boy, was I wrong. I'm really surprised that that whole package of um, Mold Star 15 is only gonna make one mold for me, which is fine. Assuming that this mold turns out okay, which I'm really not, <laughs> I'm not too hopeful that this mold is gonna turn out okay. But if it does, then it's fine that one package yields one mold because I could use that over and over again, in theory. I am worried because I made the mixture three times. Hopefully all of those silicone mixtures just kind of blend together because what if there's like different lines? And then when I go to cut them out, they all split or something like that. 
I went into this just worried about the bubbles. I should have been worrying about more things. Or maybe I shouldn't worry at all because it'll, it'll probably be fine. At the end of the day, maybe I just wasted a bunch of mold stars. Now all I can do is wait four long hours and see how it turned out. I don't know if I'm gonna have the heart to try to cut it out tonight. The mold will be cured by like nine o'clock and I don't know if I have it in me to potentially discover a catastrophe right before bed, so I, I might let this sit and cure overnight and see what tomorrow holds for me. Oh, Carl. All right, one more thing on top of everything else that went wrong with this friggin' mold pour is there's now a bug dying in the top of my mold. I am so mad. Look at you just dying in there. You did this to yourself. Good morning. I am ready and mentally prepared to see how this silicone mold turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the cup off, cut it up, and then I'm also gonna cut off the backside with all the random items that I put in to displace the mold and make it so I had enough silicone. Uh, fingers crossed that it turned out okay, but after a night of sleep, I feel at peace with maybe the possibility that this didn't turn out okay. Learning experience, what can you do? All right, let's go ahead and um, cut the sucker open. Not the end of the world but there is a tiny little hole in the mold where the popsicle sticks floated up a little bit i knew the popsicle sticks were doing that and that's why i clamped them down i should have just done all butter knives or i should have used a smaller container <laughs> for the silicone but i don't think it's gonna be a tragedy because that's on his backside so hopefully i can just seal the mold or it'll just be a small divot that i can fix in the copy version of carl so i am going to attempt to cut carl out of here with an exacto knife I'm kind of predicting that his head and his arms might pop off. It wouldn't be ideal if that happened, but at the same time, like, I don't think his actual head or arms are gonna crumble, so I can just glue him back on. Wish me luck. You can see I cut a little too deep. It's all right, we'll fix Carl up. We'll fix him up. I don't wanna cut too much, especially not into the front, because I don't wanna mess up the mold. Oh no, oh man, poor Carl. Okay. <sighs> Things are going really well today. I just tried to film another little update on what I'm working on in the mold and I accidentally filmed a slow-mo movie of myself talking, which is pretty thrilling, let me tell you. Filming difficulties aside, this mold isn't the worst it could turn out, but it, it's definitely not what I hoped it would be. And the issues I'm encountering, I kind of predicted them all. Carl's arms and head obviously popped off. Unfortunately, I did cut him a little bit when I was slicing him out of the mold, but I don't think that's a big deal. I can sand him down pretty easily and I do still plan to paint him so he'll look good after that. Looking at the mold itself, I can see a, a few little spots where maybe there was a bubble or something. I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. I figure if there's too much material in the resin cast, then that's probably better than a hole, I would think, because I could sand that down or, or something, not really sure. I'm gonna prepare to mix up this resin and get the mold poured. The cool thing about the resin is it'll only take 15 minutes to cure, so I'll have my Carl copy by the end of the day. The not so cool thing about that short cure time is it also only has a pot life of two and a half minutes. If I had had a pot life of two and a half minutes with the silicone, things would have been a disaster because I had to mix so much more. So I'm gonna try my best to make sure I'm mixing up the correct amount of resin this go around. I think it should be a lot easier because I'm not filling an entire 
yogurt cup full of silicone, I'm just filling Carl's void. So let's go ahead and prep my mold, mix up the resin and get our Carl copy made. The weirdest thing about this is it like, it gets hot. Like it melted on my cutting board a little bit, which kind of blows my mind. As you can see, the resin leaking out of the side, I feel like was the biggest issue about this. I don't know what to do here. It's still very warm. Chemical reactions. So let's see what happened here with this piece of clay. I feel like it was in the right spot. Oh, it looks like it leaked out the top. Okay. Okay. I should have spread out this little blob part because the parts that are really thin are like really easy to break off and peel away. This is very satisfying. It's like so hot. I mean, not, I'm exaggerating. It's a little warm. It's like a hot plate out of the microwave kind of hot. This is way harder to get out than the sculpty piece. Oh, I don't want to break off his arms. That would be safe. I can just make a 20 minute video of me trying to get this out. Mm. Ah! Ay, ay, ay! He's out. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is so exciting. I'm super stoked on this. He's definitely not perfect, but I would rate him a solid seven out of 10. The biggest issue is he does have these little bubbles that formed on some of the bottom parts of him. I think that's because I should have rotated the mold around while the resin was curing. I have enough resin to do one more mold of Carl the Robot, so I'll probably give that a whirl in a coming episode perhaps, or perhaps I'll do it off scene, behind the scenes. I think my next copy should definitely be like a solid eight out of 10. I was very happy with how the details showed up so well. Like you can see his little beep beep and his little mouth and his little buttons. Those all came out really well. And I was kind of expecting his smile to disappear. So the smile is a very important part of this creation. I'm very happy. I have double the fun, double the robot. I'm stoked. I've never done anything like this and I'm very, very happy with it. I will definitely try this again and I'm excited to paint these little robots. Thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully you learned a lot on how to make silicone molds and resin copies and kind of what not to do. Just this experience alone has taught me a lot and I think the next go around will go a lot better. I hope you've also enjoyed my channel and if you enjoy it and you wanna see where my little crafting life goes next, be sure to subscribe and I will catch you next week. Bye. I don't know if I can hold them all at once. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Important Carl update. I did go ahead and make the third one. I, I ordered some green stuff and I'm gonna fill in the holes, but the most exciting news is one of these little Carl clones is headed to his forever home in Australia. So that's pretty exciting. I hope he makes it there in one piece. <laughs>